today, let's make sure. Yes, okay. So we are uh, live. Okay. So as promised, uh, we want to get back and discuss um, the um, delivery pro the discovery process. We uh, we talked about having a sales process um, in the first video, and we talked about how important it is to stay uh, inside a process. Everybody needs one process. You certainly can find your own way into these uh, into these positions of the process, but you need to have a process. You need to work very, very um, dedicated commitment to staying in a process. So the third step, you know, we talked about the fact you need to prospect, you need to have that pipeline, you need to keep it filled. And that's just simply the kind of people that you want to talk to regularly, the kind of people you want to focus on, the people who you truly want to help become financially independent. They need to be in that pipeline. And then you need to approach. You need to have the approach, which we simplified, which is just, you know, hey, uh, I help people attain financial independence. Uh, are you interested? And we have a distinct process that we work through on that. And while uh, it's differing uh, levels for different for everybody, you know, it's a it's a process. And I'd love to uh, have the chance to walk you through that. So now we get into the discovery process. We come into a really, really kind of important area. The discovery process has a lot of self-discovery in it. We're trying to help people find a new way of thinking themselves. We're not telling them what to think. We don't want to do that. We don't, that's persuasion. We don't want to get in people's head and tell them what to think or what to do. You want them to become um, self-discovery. You want them to become aware of things they're not aware of. You know, hey, I'm not sure if you were aware of this or not, but did you know? And these kind of steps when you ask a question, okay? So you sort of already prefaced the question, you know, I'm not sure you're aware of this, but did you know? And then uh, uh, ask a question. You say, well, how do you follow up did you know with a question? Exactly. You follow up did you know with a question, and then you get what they know. Now you're building the self-discovery concept. So this is a dual process. I want you to recognize it's a dual process because you and them are uh, in a bit of a battle. And if you follow old school selling, that battle is that you are, um, uh, you are diminishing their ego while increasing your ego. That's not good. That's a bad position in. You want to increase the prospect's ego. You want them to have self-discovery. You want them to start to come to this grips with knowledge. You want them to feel good about it. You want them to feel like they're in control of the situation, even though you know that if you're doing things right, you have full control of the situation. You want to come at it from their best interest. Once you position yourself with them and have them understand that, look, you know, uh, we pride ourselves on the fact that your best interest is my only concern. So therefore, everything that we're discussing and everything we're doing, it, it, it's going to be funneled into your best interest. There's nothing here that has any interest for me. This is not about me. This is about you, your family. I'm an advocate that positions those people who can't speak for themselves, your children, your, your, your wife or your husband, these are people who don't have these conversations with you, but I'm the middle of it. I'm trying to help advocate for everybody because it all is about your best interest and theirs. When you're coming to the conclusion of this whole thing, it's all being tied up in a bow to simply give them what they want. You go through the discovery process properly and you really, really uh, ask good, solid questions, listen, for very uh, uh, key answers and ultimately tie it up in a bow in a nice package, you will be giving them what they want when you come back on your solution side. Okay? Now, here's a funny thing. This is something that's very hard to get used to as a sales professional. What people want is not always what they need. In fact, many times, rarely, do people want what they need? So your job is not to persuade them into wanting what they need. Your job is helping them become self-aware of what they need and them wanting it. Let me repeat that again. 
Your job is not getting them to want what they need. Your job is to help them become self-aware of what they need and then wanting to solve it. That is totally opposite of what most sales people are taught. You don't create needs. I hear that all the time. Help create the need. You don't create any needs. That's not your job. Your job is not to create needs. Your job is to identify needs and help people then become self-aware and discover those needs for themselves. That's your job. So that discovery process is a dual process, once again. Okay? Your ego is decreasing. Prospect's ego is increasing. Your only concern is the prospect client's best interest. That's it. That's your only concern. You have no concern about anything else. And what others want will always trump what they need. So if you don't help them identify that what they want is what they need, then you are not doing the job. You don't persuade them at all. You help them identify. You help them discover. You help them become self-aware. When they do that, this becomes a very, very easy process. This is not a tough process when done properly. And the more you do it, the better you will become at it. So what is the key to all of this? Okay, the key to all of this is that the want and the need are always going to be battling each other. Remember, people are emotional. People think in terms of themselves. All right, I'll tell you right now, first rule of human behavior is people are far more concerned about themselves than anybody else. I don't care how you want to wrap it up, what you want to say. Anybody, if you ask a person throughout the day what they're thinking about, 90% of the time people are thinking about themselves. Even when they're at work, they're thinking about themselves. This is what people do. It's human behavior number one. Now, wants and needs are not always the same thing. Wants are a lot more emotional. Needs are a lot more logical. So people have to blend the want and the need. That's your job. That's a professional job. You have to show people what their needs are. You have to show them in a way that they become self-discovering about it and that they emotionally tie it together and say, geez, you know, I really want to solve that problem. You poke the pain enough, they want to solve the problem. Okay? This is what you find through the discovery. Find what the person wants through the discovery process. Most presentations are incorrectly built to provide a predetermined solution to an already assumed need. Let's take a mortgage sale for a, a instance. It's a, it's a predetermined solution, a policy to solve one problem, which is the mortgage, and it's an already an assumed need because someone has a mortgage, they automatically need a life insurance policy. Now, I can't tell you how ass backwards that is, okay? It's incredibly ass backwards. And it's the reason why it probably has the least retention and the highest, um, the highest uh, lapse ratio in, in the business, okay? The most chargebacks and the least retention. Because once again, you came in with a predetermined solution to an already assumed need and you didn't do any discovery whatsoever. You have no idea whether they want to solve the need. You don't even know they really have the need. So there's no discovery. This uh, is referred to commonly as creating a need. This is how you're trained. You're trained to create a need. Oh, you have a mortgage, therefore if you die, who's gonna pay for that mortgage? Okay, something has to be done. So you have this mortgage, so we will give you this solution. So if you die, this mortgage gets paid off. Whoopee. You can't create a need and be successful in building a relationship. Does not work. You are persuading somebody to do something that they have no idea they want to do, could care less about, or even have any concern about. And you're forcing their emotional button to something that they're not yet emotionally tied to. You are forcing a, a, a something down someone's throat, and they will always resist that. A man persuaded against his will is of the same opinion still. Most people will uh, not debate it with you. They'll just get rid of you. 
say yes, yes you to death, see you, goodbye. When you're gone, the phone gets picked up, buyer's remorse, and there comes the cancellation. That's the way it works. You can't create a need and build uh, and be successful in building relationships. Does not work, will not work, has never worked, and you are wasting your time. So we're going to get into some other things uh, in the next uh, session. We're going to start talking about how do you think? What's on your mind? What is your mindset? Do you, are, you, are you abundantly driven? Uh, and you, you need to be transparent in your own belief patterns, and you need to make this your belief pattern. So we're going to start covering that in our next uh, session, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll stay on, on board here with uh, really, really getting better and practicing your discovery. Never stop on your discovery. Discovery is the most important thing you can ever do with a client. Discovery is your ability to help them become self-aware of what their needs are and the desire for them to want to solve those needs. That's your job. Have a great day.